Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 36. I'm Dr. Dorena Shine, and I welcome you today, September the 2nd, 2023. We have 14 students enrolled and are present. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here to this podcast. Even though it's the weekend, the holiday weekend, there's a lot of things going on that you could possibly be doing, but you're choosing to take the time to be a success and move forward into the career in which you're trying to go in your business development. And that is a great thing. Also, I will be doing our YouTube uh, channel and we will be going live there in the near future. So look out for that. Um, this is the second time that I've had to restart a video. Hopefully this is the, the lucky charm here today. And that goes to show you some things that I want you to pay attention to regarding how sometimes you might have to start things and you might have to work on them. Even when it's going great, you know, I had a great topic that was going on and it was awesome. And I had to redo. So patience is the key. It's the virtue to any entrepreneurial practice, to anything that we could value that's going to make us greater later. So with the individuals that are in the chat, I do want to share with you a few important quotes that I feel works for me when my day is the way it goes. Um, so I'm going to share some with you. I have, I follow a few positive pages on Facebook and I found that these quotes are very valuable to my life and they come right on time. I don't know if the algorithm is listening to my conversations and picks up on a certain particular word that I use or whatever conversation I'm having or whatever email I'm sending or is being sent but it knows exactly what to say when we need it. So let's go to it. So my school 811, in which I follow, says, don't lose hope. Everything happens for a reason. You never know what tomorrow may bring. And I want you to pay attention to that because like I said, as I was trying to redistribute my content today, I lost I lost communication with 14 of my clients. And this is something that I do not want to do on a podcast. So that let me know that no matter what we're going through, it's going to be okay. And that tomorrow is going to be a better day. So the temporary states of entrepreneurship, when it's going crazy, when computers are shutting down, when you have issues of financial, you know, issues where you can't pay the bills or you don't know where the next check is coming or the client didn't show. These are very valuable lessons that we learn because if we're patient, we know that this will come to fruition because the manifestation is so needed and so necessary. So I want you to keep that in your mindset when you are dealing with things in life. Here's another one. A satisfied life is better than a successful life because our success is measured by others, but our satisfaction is measured by our own soul, mind, and heart. And that's the reason why I say to you, you are the leader of your own program, your own project, and let no one steal that success from you because it is something that you've earned. It's something that you have measured and you know for a fact that it is valuable for you. And uh, for those who have just come into the chat, um, I welcome you. Thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, like this video and shoot it out. Share it, please. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 36. I am Dr. Dorina Shine, and I so welcome you. Today, I'm just putting some good, positive energy into my client base, and I'm saying to you, 
you are good enough. Actually, you're probably overqualified, but let's start the week off humble. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one because I just talked about the ego and I talked about the narcissistic professional. And sometimes the only time we wear that hat is when we need to. When others are being disrespectful to us, we have to put on the control mechanism that lets them know who is the boss. And in that instance and in that time, we take it back off and we be humble to the next individual when we're on level six with everyone, you know? So I felt that that was really good. Here's another one. You're getting a lot closer to manifesting that life you keep dreaming of. So don't overthink. Focus on what you can work on. And that's something that I want you to share. You know, this whole weekend has been emotionally driven for me as an entrepreneur. It is a high and low time for me. And it's very easy for depression to creep in when we deal with real, true, realistic facts that have taken a part of our lives. And yet we have to keep moving forward. And at what time do you say that, you know, some people call it, you know, workaholism, you know, or, you know, not, not expecting a life situation to make you change. No one can tell how a life situation is going to make an entrepreneurial perspective change in our lives. So we just have to make sure that we're on top of our emotional game when we're dealing with our finances, when we're dealing with where the money is going to be spent, when we're dealing with who we're going to client uh, base with, who we're going to say is a good fit for our organization, for our company, for our goals. These are things that are vital, very, very vital. So always help someone. You might be the only one who is helping that person. So in your business know as an entrepreneur that people are going to come to you for answers, even if they don't say, I need the answer. So you want to be approachable. You want to be admirable. You want to make sure that the individual leaves you feeling good with a resourceful amount of hope, not a, not hope that is unreal. You just don't want to give people false hope. And I know as an entrepreneur, there's been many a times where I've seen the good. I've seen the drive in the individual, but they didn't see it. So as I promote that drive, what happens is the individual feels overwhelmed and they choose to shut down because they don't see the goal of success within themselves. So we have to meet them where they are and not give so much accolade to what could be because that is something that could desperately deter them from what it is that they're going to be working on with you when they come to your establishment. Also, the Youngstown Community Center is super excited to announce that we now are connected as a third-party affiliate to the Hampton Inn Liberty and what we're doing there, we it's under new management. We're going to be empowering our workers to go out there and do a little bit. Even if it's just, you know, I need a few more hours of worth of work. So they are hiring. And uh, I just say that it was a great experience to connect with the Hampton Inn Liberty. And no matter who's the who's the uh, manager. Uh, My goal is to continue to empower that place because that place was valuable to me in 2019. And had it not been for the Hampton Inn in Youngstown, um, I don't know where I would have been. I would not have been able to meet my affiliates in California. I would not have been able to meet my um, affiliates as we helped with a you know, multi-million dollar franchise helped to promote a nonprofit program within that establishment. So peace out to Hampton Inn. (laughs) 
And if ever you're in need of a hotel, this is some, this is a place that I would recommend you go. Life is better when you don't care what other people think. That's the final thing I want to say. Life is so much better when you don't care what other people think. You know, people may try to control you by saying you're not emotional enough if something is happening in your life. You're not happy enough if you're getting married. You're challenging yourselves for people pleasing. And at that point, it's not necessary. So always remember entrepreneurs, the most vital, important lesson that you can ever have is the right to believe what it is you choose to believe. And as long as it doesn't hurt another person or yourself or your business, you have a right to believe and do and think how you choose. Um, and that's what I want to get on, get on today to say. Um, I have not checked the emails. I did see that there were some things that came in. I will be going over them through the long weekend. But uh, of course, um, you know that I do have two podcasts here on the channel. The first one is the Chronicles of a Nonprofit. That is separate. It's a playlist that is specifically geared towards entrepreneurs and learners who are trying to move themselves into the establishment of entrepreneurship and uh, business owning and developing and portfolio building. And then we have the R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we talk about the injustices that has taken place and looking at the Innocence Project as a as a way to help society as a whole. So um, that's a separate playlist. That's something that I do on Sundays. And if you are interested in that as well, feel free to go over. Um, that's where we read transcripts. We read um, indictments. We read those areas of law that has been flawed, it seemed, in the instance of the case. But that is a separate podcast. So now what I want to do in episode 36, I want to thank everyone for coming out and sharing and just looking at the opportunities that's available in these podcasts, document information podcasts, because what happens is I just get on and I start talking about experiences that I've encountered. One final thing that I do want to say today is that when you're in an area of peace, tranquility, and happiness, you start to feel that around you where you begin to feel more confident and more at ease with self, well, what will happen in certain instances is people will bring you their troubles and their problems and their traumas during that time just to get you distracted um, or to get you to feel some type of empathy for them. Yes, you do feel empathy for people, but there is no way that you can control what another person does with their, with their freedom. And so when you have that instance there, you make a decision. Do I find this a place in my life where I need to take priority or can it sit on the back burner? If I let it sit on the back burner and in an hour, it's not as important, then I know I've done my part. I know that I should have stayed focused on what I was doing because an hour later, just an hour later, I realized that it wasn't as valuable or as important as it was set out to be at that particular moment. And sometimes I play with time. And when I say I play with time, some, sometimes I can be doing something specific and I can just say universally, why do I feel so crammed? Like, why is it right now there's like 20 people calling me at one time? One after the other, after the other, after the other, literally 20 individuals calling me back to back to back. That's when I realized that there's something important of value that I need to be practicing and working on. And whether it's patience, whether it's uh, don't jump at it, prioritize, whether it's hmm, send it to voicemail, whether it's check the email later, these are priority building concepts that are I'm learning in the field of entrepreneurship that 
I really didn't understand. I didn't pay attention to. So that's something else that I want you to pay attention to. Leaders and entrepreneurs. Leaders, you can be a parent or a guardian in your own house. And these are ways that you can project and organize the structure of how your house members live within the concept of what you've manifested for yourself. Because a home is a safety net. It's a place where you go to lay all your burdens down and you can let go of all of the you know, um, armor that you've placed on out in the, out in the real world, out in society. But when you go within, it's going like going within in a cocoon. And that's what I want you to pay attention to too, because the emotional state and mindset of an individual who is embarking upon a new concept, such as business development, developing your business, that is vital what is that? That is relaxation, meditation, internal reflection. You know, I was looking at a Bob Ross video and all I did was listen to it. And I seen the visualization of his artwork coming into the mindset of me, you know, just manifesting it based on what he was stating in his artwork. And that's another good positive way that you can calm the mind from the mundane things that happen that you can't control, but it's so on your mind at two, three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, these are ideas that I would suggest that you take into consideration when you're thinking about how to empower yourself to move forward through any critical area of your business because all of these things are going to show up eventually. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. You are wonderful, my leaders and my entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit the like button and share this video. To keep the algorithm up, I see my numbers are good. My numbers are really great. And then when I upload it to YouTube, I get more individuals. I mean, so I'm paying attention to you as well. That's why I think it's vital that I start a live podcast also with the YouTube community on the channel. God bless you. Have a great safe weekend and we will see you next time.